int x. X is an integer. I want to uh, give you some code, code fragments and then show you how to interpret them, how to read them in English. Because if you can read them in English, it will dramatically help you understand the code that you're looking at. So when I say int x semicolon and I'm reading that in my head, what I actually say to myself is, okay, x is an integer. And I'm sure you do too. Now, if you read the line int star ptr, I say ptr is a pointer to an integer. That's what I say to myself when I see the asterisk. And that's what you guys have to get used to saying to yourselves as well when you see that asterisk. Okay, we covered that in the last slide. Now here's where it gets, well, this is where you have to start paying attention, where you have to really start paying attention. Because this is going to be a, an actual line of code that uses a pointer. I've only showed you some expressions like ampersand x or asterisk pointer. But now I want to show you an actual line of code where that might be used. Okay, so here we go. PTR equals ampersand x. Okay, what does that mean? Well, remember that ampersand x was the address of x. You could interpret that as the address of x. In the previous diagram, that ampersand x was 103, the address of the box where x lives. The value of x, don't forget, is 5, but the address of x is 103. So we take that 103 and we assign it to PTR. Remember, PTR is capable of storing addresses. That's what pointers are. They're variables that can hold addresses. So in this case, PTR is going to hold the address of x. Cool. So you read that as saying, set PTR to be the address of x. You might think of that as a pointer initialization. You are finally setting PTR to point to something. If you don't initialize a pointer, you can get all sorts of horrible results. Compare that with what happens if you don't initialize anything else. If you don't initialize an integer, what do you get? Well, you get the variable containing just some random number. I've said that a few times. But what do you get if you don't initialize a pointer? Well, the pointer contains a random number as well, except the random number is interpreted as an address. So in effect, what you've got is PTR, or pointer, containing a random address, or it's pointing to a random piece of memory that could be anywhere on your entire system. That's if you have not initialized pointer. And you can get all sorts of horrible things happen if you try and do something with the pointer before it's been initialized. So this line that you're looking at right now is, an, is the initialization of a pointer. It's actually setting pointer to point to something. Can you verify yourselves in your, in your head that that's exactly what it's doing? It's setting pointer to actually point to something well, point to something meaningful. Okay, finally, star PTR equals 5. Remember that star PTR means the value of the thing that PTR points to. And I'm assigning that to be 5. So I'm essentially putting 5 in the box. I'm putting 5 in the box that is called X, not the box that's called PTR. If I just said PTR equals 5 without the asterisk, what would that do? Well, it would set PTR to point to whatever is happened to be sitting at memory address 5. Now, there's probably nothing sitting at memory address 5, so it's probably an illegal thing to do. But 5 would be interpreted as a memory address. However, star PTR means the thing that point PTR points to becomes equal to 5. So in other words, in this case, x is set to 5. Well, x was already set to 5, but imagine if x wasn't set to something, then you could set it to 5. Or imagine if x was set to 20. You could overwrite the 20 now with a 5. You'd put 5 in the box labelled x, which is the thing that pointer points to. So you can read that in English as set the contents of PTR to 5, which is not an exactly precise way of... Uh, of describing what it, what's going on, because the contents of PTR is a somewhat ambiguous statement. So you usually say, set the thing that PTR points to, to 5. I know that the word thing there is very untechnical, but really you just don't know what PTR is going to point to. Well, you kind of do. If PTR is appointed to an integer, then the thing that it points to, well, it has to be an integer. But uh, you typically don't think like that. You just say, whatever it is that pointer points to, set that to 5. That's how you would read that line of code. 
Okay, so those two lines of code that I've just shown you, PTR equals ampersand x and star PTR equals 5, they are frequently confused. I'll bring them up on the screen again, and this time in the second example, star PTR equals 5, I'll just change that slightly. 